Kia ora no huihui mai tātou. Nei mai hoki mai, a ki tēnei wahanga tuarua o te rā. A, ko te tumanako ia, i whai wahi atu koutou ki te paku kai, a ki te whakamwāti a koutou a no hoki. Uh, so just welcome back everybody. Um, it's lovely to have you as part of the second uh, half of our day today. I'm hoping that you had time uh, to have a bit of a break, bit of a whakata, uh, also something to eat, a kai, um, on the back of our great breakout room. So he pai te kōrero, we want to keep the momentum going encouraging our Q&As, and we're, we're hoping to get some out as part of the session. Hui anō, a tēnei te mihi atu ki a koutou, e hoki mai nei, a ki tō tātou pae pūrangi o tēnei hui, e ki ana, ko rau virtual hui. Tēnā tātou. Um, nō kui te whiwhi nō kua nō hoki te waimari, it is my privilege, it is my honour uh, to introduce our next speaker uh, today. Uh, we have Dr. Te Ahukarumu Charles Royal. Uh, who is an independent composer and long-time researcher of Mātauranga Māori. Charles has written and edited six books and ten reports on aspects of Mātauranga Māori and iwi histories and traditions. His previous roles include Director at the Papatongarewa Museum, Director of Graduate Studies and Research at the, uh, at the Pai o, uh, o Te Maramatanga, which is at the University of Auckland, and Charles belongs to Marutuahu Ngāti Rangkawa e Ngāpuhi. Kei taku rangatira, kei tākuta, nei mai haere mai ki tēnei pai kui rangi, kei a koe te wā. Tēnā, tēnā koe, Lee, tēnā koe tu wato, te hunga e whakarongo mai nā ki ni kōroro, tiro tiro mai nā ki kia hau nei. Uh, e mi a tua nau ki tā tātou kaupapa, uh, ki tā tātou hui ngā tahitangi tini rā, te whakawhiti whiti whakaro, uh, e pāne ki te mātauranga, ki te whakāko, ki te whāngai hoki i ngā tātou tamuraki, i ngā tāngata e wawatāne ki tēnei me te mātauranga. Uh, ko riro mai ki au, ko tukuna mai ki au, uh, tētahi wāhanga poto noi honei te whakamārama uh, tēnei kaipapa ki anei o tēnei pepa uh, tōne ingoa ko manu kōkiri. Uh, ko te rōpū hoki nā rātou nā mātau i tuhi tuhi, uh, ko te ingoa te rōpū nei ko tau matārono. Ko eno rā, tēnā ko tu atua. Um, kia ora, everybody. Uh, thank you for the invitation to speak today about a paper that will be soon released called Manu Kōkiri, uh, written by a group called Taumata Aronui, of which I'm a member. The paper is called Manu Kōkiri, and it is about a Māori success in tertiary education. It's an attempt to describe various dimensions of what we mean by Māori success in tertiary education. It deliberately takes a very broad look at the tertiary education sector and not just one part of it. And it broadly asks the questions or provides some responses to the questions about well, what do we actually mean by Māori success in tertiary education. And particularly it's called a towards a comprehensive vision. It's not uh, intended to be the vision, but rather a contribution to a conversation about what a comprehensive vision for Māori success in tertiary education might actually look like. Um, it was it's was written, I'm the author of the paper, but was written on behalf of Taumata Aronui. So it's Taumata Aronui's paper. And Taumata Aronui is a group of uh, Māori individuals who have been drawn largely from outside the tertiary education sector to provide advice to the Minister of Education and the Minister for Crown Māori Relations. Um, there's only one member who has a formal role, you might say, within the tertiary education sector, who sits on Taumata Aronui, and that is uh, Professor Wira Mutawati from uh, Te Whare Wānanga o Awanui Aarangi. Uh, um, Wayne Ngata, who is our chair, he also uh, sits on the tertiary education commission. But it's largely, we're drawn, we're a group of people largely drawn from outside the tertiary education sector. Um, there's quite a number of things to say about the group. But uh, essentially, we don't represent anyone. We're just a, simply a group of Māori individuals who have an interest in education and Māori success, and who have an opportunity to offer some comments and some thoughts and advice to these ministers regarding Māori success. We don't speak for anybody. We don't speak for the Māori sector, the Māori education sector, or Māori working in the sector. We don't speak for iwi or Māori communities. We're just simply a group of individuals with, who have been invited to offer some ideas about Māori success uh, and tertiary education. Uh, 
Regarding Manukokiri, this is a paper that will be released uh, um, in April, which is a think piece, a kind of a thinking out loud, a, a set of ideas and thoughts regarding what do we believe about was important about Māori success in tertiary education. The reason we were prompted to write this paper was because when we first got together, we were taken to various meetings by various officials of the Ministry of Education, the Tertiary Education Commission and other places, and asked for advice on all sorts of things, including Rove. And uh, one of the problems that we had was it was difficult for us to really offer uh, advice on each of these very complex things without first thinking about, well, what do we regard Māori success in tertiary education anyway? What, what do we think is important as a group of individuals? Not representing anybody, but what do we think? And so that was the beginnings of this paper called Manu Kōkiri. It represents some thinking out loud by this independent group of individuals. It doesn't report on any research, and it was written during the COVID-19 lockdowns. Um, it's importantly, it's not government policy. It's, uh, it's just simply a paper that contains ideas by this group of individuals about Māori success for the consideration of the ministers, of course, and for consideration of the tertiary education sector. Um, you know, we've taken a very, very broad view about what we mean by success, and we've looked across the sector overall. It's not just about Rove or Te Pukinga or the university system or the Whare Wānanga system. It's about the entire tertiary education sector. And we're hoping to set in place or at least raise for discussion and debate a number of kind of foundational principles and ideas, you might say, uh, for Māori success in tertiary education. Uh, the paper is divided into three key parts. What do we mean by Māori success in tertiary education? What do we mean by a successful successful tertiary education sector from a Māori point of view? And how might these things be achieved going forward? The, uh, we, right from the outset, we wanted to really put up front a bunch of big aspirations uh, uh, about the Māori dimension of tertiary education sector. And so this was one, one sentence that we fashioned uh, regarding the best indigenously inspired tertiary education system in the world. One where incredible success by indigenous people is normalized and expected, and where indigenous knowledge and experience influences the sector positively and becomes the secret inspiration for the success of all. This is an internationally lauded uh, indigenously inspired education system. Uh, that's kind of like an overarching kind of statement for what we're what we're looking for. Uh, then we've broken it down into some individual kinds of aspirations. And this slide you see in front of you, uh, it by no means exhausts the aspirations that are actually articulated in the in the document. But the the obvious one was that Maori people themselves are enjoying greater levels of success in teacher education study, uh, in the labour market, and and so on. The health and well-being is being nurtured uh, through tertiary education. The economic prosperity is being nurtured and fostered through tertiary education. The tertiary education sector itself is transform transformed by a positive engagement with Tēnoranga Tiratana and the Māori dimension and so on. That um, Māori innovation and creativity is being unlocked through the tertiary education sector and, and a lot more. That is by no means an exhaustive list of the aspirations that have been described inside the paper. Uh, the, the first big section, however, is about Māori success. And this is an obvious set of goals that, uh, that any kind of uh, Māori success statement needs to include. This is the success of Māori people while undertaking tertiary study. This is the success of Māori people while employed in the tertiary education sector. And the success of Māori people as a consequence of undertaking tertiary education study. On that last point, we, we've placed a real emphasis on the importance of nurturing health and well-being of iwi hapi whanau Māori communities through tertiary education activities, and also about um, uh, increasing, uh, the second one is about increasing the success of Māori people in the labour market, and lot, lots to say about that. The second um, big section of the paper 
is this what do we regard a successful tertiary education sector to look like from a Māori perspective or a Māori view? Naturally, we couldn't uh, uh, overlook the importance of the Tiritia Waitangi, so there's a big discussion about the Tiritia Waitangi, about Mātauranga Māori, about the Māori economy, and also a section about tertiary education as a right and as a vehicle for public good. And there we touch on things like uh, intergenerate um, institutional racism, uh, the, the recent controversy at Waikato University, uh, and a few other a few other bits and pieces. We also touch on um, uh, touch on the recent controversy regarding science in Mātauranga Māori. Unfortunately, it came just a little bit too late for us to be able to address it at length. However, we do have some comments to make. Uh, about that controversy. Um, and then finally, there's the big sections to do with achieving Māori success in tertiary education. So naturally, if you're posing the question, this is what success looks like, the next question was, how do you achieve it? And the, the primary way by which we've we've uh, responded to that question is by advocating for a new Tiriti or Waitangi framework across the entire sector that has components within it or plans, performance measures, and procedures for achieving Māori success in tertiary education study, for achieving employment success, uh, key outcomes for consequence of undertaking uh, education study, tertiary education study as well. We are recommending three investments, new investments and three significant initiatives. Uh, one is a new intensified and cross-sector initiative regarding equity and the elimination of discrimination. We are concerned that although the question of equity is being discussed across the tertiary education sector, it's being done in a somewhat piecemeal and unplanned way. And there are variations in performance across the sector around the question of equity and elimination of discrimination. We suggest that there is grounds or rationale for a renewed focused effort across the sector regarding equity and elimination of discrimination. We do suggest a new investment around uh, excellence, authority, and leadership in Mātauranga Māori. This is building the new leadership, the new authority in Mātauranga Māori going forward. And one final recommendation is regarding an investment to do with nurturing uh, the mana health and well-being of iwi hapu whānau Māori communities through uh, Mātauranga Māori activities uh, involving the tertiary education sector. Much to say about all of that. Uh, just wanted to let you know about that. Uh, a few comments around some new working arrangements around an expanded Tomataronui and so on. Um, the final thoughts this paper by no means exhausts all possible questions and issues, uh, is just the beginning, a starting point. Uh, much more needs to be done uh, around each of the questions we've posed, but we hope we've created some kind of useful framework by which the, the complex and multiple questions regarding Māori success in tertiary education can be discussed and debated and advanced. Kia ora tātou. I stopped deliberately early to allow for some questions. Kapai, o kei taku ranga tira te nei te mihi nui a kia koe a i e na fakaro i e na korero a ka ka tapai he atu a kimo i te aro aro. So again, thank you for your presentation, and we do have time for questions. So kapai, and we encourage our people uh, in the attendance to put up your your questions. And I've just seen uh, one. When will this report? When will these uh, this presentation be be available? Um, and just to reiterate the uh, the message is that all of the presentations and the questions, well, particularly from our presentation uh, presenters today, uh, will be shared out and will be made available to you all um, after after this week. Kapai. So please send your questions through. Um, we do have a question. Rangatira. How can we ensure authentic integration of marae, hapu, and whānau is part of trying to integrate um, things such as Mātauranga Māori across this educational system. How me pēhia e whai wahi nei uh, awa rōpū, awa reo, a ki roto i tēnei kaupapa nui whakaharahara? Well, this is a, an important question facing our communities going forward. My personal um, uh, thoughts are that we need to be find ways to strengthen our monai and our iwi hapu whānau structures to deliver tertiary education offerings 
alongside those that can be that may be delivered by uh, the state sector or by the car wanatanga structures. So I'm a great believer that Mataranga Māori needs its own structures, its own uh, uh, procedures of accountability and ownership, and its own leadership. And we've been compromised constantly for decades now in trying to make advances for Mataranga Māori within structures that weren't created for Mataranga Māori. And so I think uh, I use the term um, uh, spaces of authority and integrity for Mataranga Māori. Uh, we've begun that with Kohangareo through to Wharewānanga and, and doing uh, great work in that arena. Uh, but there's further work to strengthen those structures as well as the marae, which is still the preeminent institution of Māori communities. Um, Anne here is a part from one of our attendees um, <clears throat> from a regional skills leadership, uh, leadership group, Anna Nelson. Uh, what things need to be done to uphold and enhance the success of Māori who are employed in the tertiary education sector? Well, many things. One is uh, one is to pay attention to the actual experience of Māori students while they're in your care, uh, while they're in the tertiary education institutions, uh, that they're not abandoned to try and figure out how to get through the tertiary education system on their own. That's one thing. Another thing is that um, to acknowledge the tremendous growth in Māori education leadership that now exists across the tertiary education sector, but equally acknowledge that that leadership is still in a fra fragile uh, form, that it still has to bear special burdens and stresses upon it, and requires not um, an atmosphere of a lack of trust, but rather it requires active nurturing across, active support and nurturing and sustainability across the sector. That is the importance of a sustained, resourced Māori leadership across the tertiary education sector is absolutely incredible. Good point. Uh, another question from one of our attendees, um, Mana, Manukura Ringahura. Is Tomata Aronui just concerned with the tertiary system? Was it a more integrated view? Uh, kōpaki, ki te kōpaki envelope to envelope here? How for Kaho? Well, uh, um, in the first instance, yes, we were invited to talk and discuss and debate the tertiary education sector, and primarily that has been our concern. But time and again, when we bump up, we talk to the Farewananga sector and so on, they make the comment all the time that you can't carve off the tertiary education sector from the secondary sector, from the primary sector and so on, that there needs to be some kind of integrated overall plan for all of these education offerings and so that there's a sense of coherence and coordination across it. Across it. Clearly, the Kohanga Reo through to Farewananga community is trying to build this more coherent bridge. Um, we've got a way to go with all of that, but uh, we certainly um, see the value in trying to create a more coherent approach. Where does the vision move to? Recommendations will go to where and what happens from there? So the recommendations uh, go to the Minister of uh, Minister of Education and the Minister of Crown Māori Relations. We have an opportunity to present these recommendations. By the way, they've already gone to them, but they, where the rubber gets the road is how we translate that into, um, into a significant budget bit. We've got an opportunity to make a proposal on a budget bit, but whether it remains to be seen whether we're successful or not. We hope that Manu Kōkiri um, provides, uh, Manukokiri and other things will provide enough of a rationale to really drive a powerful budget bid, particularly around Mātauranga Māori um, for the tertiary education sector. We hope that we're going to be successful around that. So uh, later this year, um, sorry, throughout the duration of 2022, we'll be working on a budget bid, which will be submitted to ministers later this year. How we go with it, we just have to see. I, I, I can't guarantee any, we can't guarantee anything. Um, thank you very much for your time. Ete tākuta, te ahukarumu, Charles Royal, no mātou te wai mari e, uh, e te toka tū moana, e, e toka tū nei uh, i tēnei au e noho nei tātou, e whakatairanga nei i tēnei mea te mātauranga Māori, tēnei te mea te ki a koe. Again, thank you for your time, uh, sharing your kore roa. Tēnā kouta katoa. Ngāmi. A kāpai a tātou, um, ko mutu tēnei awahi, and we are going to um, move into uh, the next session. Kāpai, 
So we are going to leave here and then we're going to jump into the next session. Kāre roe hoa mātou.